Claudia Peluga is a fourth year biomed student at York University. In her first year, she went undefeated in the singles and doubles and helped lead the Lions to the OUA silver medal. That same year, she won Conference All-Star and Rookie of the Year. Today, we're gonna learn a little bit more about Claudia and she's gonna teach me how to play tennis. Welcome, Claudia. So can you take me through your warm up? Yes. Let's head over to the baseline, the three footworks of tennis. So the first one is, okay, I'm just coming Yeah, over. let me, yep. <laughs> Sorry. The Rookie first one, me. no, it's okay, it's coming back, is the shuffle. So I stay low, it's shuffling all the way to the end, the back. The next one is the crossover shuffle. So you start with a big crossover, um, should be explosive, so something like this, and back. Wait, wait, wait. Big cross, yeah! And then just shuffle back? Yeah. Okay, okay. I'll just shuffle out here, turn, sprint, crossover, and come back. Turn, sprint, cross, over. Oh, it's like this, you shuffle. Uh-huh. Turn, step, cross, shuffle. Hey Claudia, so we've gone through the warm up. Now you're going to take me through the first drill. Yeah, so the first drill is a warm up drill. Um, it's called mini tennis. So usually you're going to be playing from the service line here and you're going to be on that side. It's within these four boxes and it's a really good drill to kind of warm up your hands if you haven't played in a while, even just to get the feel of the ball before you actually increase the speed. So let's do it. So what is the second drill? So the second drill, we're gonna do the same thing, mm -hmm. except instead of hitting straight at each other, we're gonna hit cross court. Cross court is essentially diagonal. That's it. ready to play a game. What do you think? I think I think you're very ready. We're going to implement these last couple of drills that we did into a game. So we're going to play in these. See how there's four boxes here? In the court, one, two, three, four. Yep. The mini boxes. We're going to play in those boxes. If you hit the net or the ball goes out, like if it doesn't land in the box, game over. Not game over, but you lose that, you lose that, you lose that, <laughs> you lose that point. Lose that point. Sorry. Claudia, so that was a lot of fun, but now I want to get to know a little bit more about you. Um, how old were you when you started playing tennis? I started playing tennis when I was nine, which was actually pretty late. Um, my grandfather actually came from Serbia, and in Serbia, tennis is like a huge sport. Right? It's kind of like, it's comparable to hockey here. Yeah, yeah. My dad actually played hockey over there. <laughs> Um, anyway, so he came and I was doing ballet at the time. Never saw tennis in my future at all. And I ended up going to play. And we sit on the court for like three hours and I was just having so much fun. And then after that, I would kind of beg my dad to take me every single day. So I was playing every day and then I ended up getting a coach a few months later. And that was it. I was playing a lot. That was it. So nine years old was when you started because your grandparents were like, why isn't she in tennis? Yeah, yeah. When did you know that tennis was a sport that you really wanted to play? I think I knew it probably when I, when I got my first coach. Um, 
playing in the public park and stuff, it was fun, I loved it. Um, did I know I wanted to do it professionally at that time? Not really, because I wasn't really exposed to what it was like. But once I actually started training, I realized like I'm so passionate about this, this is what I want to do. And that's why I would stand up for and train for like six hours a day as a kid. I just loved being there. So, so that led to you becoming a national champion early yeah, on? I was, yeah, I was, I was very young. Um, and then I won provincials at 14, which was, which was great. Um, but I did quit early on just because my parents kind of figured, you know, is she going to choose the school route? I was about 15, is she going to choose the tennis route? And choosing tennis is kind of a risk because the sport is individual and there's so many factors that go into it and do you have enough money for travel and all that stuff. So my parents kind of decided that the safe choice was to do school. Is the safe choice always the best? No. <laughs> so I'm happy I'm, I'm happy I'm back in it now. It feels really good. Okay, so this is a bit of a selfish question. We played a game today. Oh my <laughs> I did a few drills. Yeah. How would you rate me out of 10? Dude, like 11. Like I told you, man. <laughs> 11, let's go. You, are you kidding? Even Dean, you impressed Dean with that coordination, though that impact. Thank you. That impact was so clean, like they heard it in the heavens. It's like good. that? Yeah. There was no like, there was no, there was no crispy, like it was just like right off. <laughs> so last question, you think we can play doubles one day? Absolutely. Let's go. <laughs> See you at the US Open 2020. It's happening.